So, hello, my name is Vito Nagele. I'm having the website www.candomblay.at. And first of all, I want to tell you that my English is not the best, so I have a sheet of paper here where I'm looking sometimes because I'm not a good English speaker. But I try to speak in English because uh, many of people of the whole of the world are looking to my website, so I decide to make videos in English. Yeah. So what we have here is uh, Atabakis. The Atabakis are from Brazil and they are playing in a ritual situation in Brazil normally, in the terreiros of Candomblé. And we have uh, different sizes of Atabakis and one, the, the smallest size is the Le, then the Rumpi and the Rum or Hun. In some parts they have other names and the skin is uh, made of, I think, goat and uh, so it's a very light skin, like playing chamba or something else in Africa and normally you could play it, the, the drums, uh, with hand or sticks. In some rhythms you play it only with hand for, for example, Ishe Sha, or in some rhythms they are playing these two uh, drums with sticks and this with the hand, for example, at Alusha de Shango. So, uh, where, where could you buy it? <laughs> yeah, normally you could buy it uh, in Germany. I give you or I write the, the link down if you see this video on the on the top or on the on the bottom I'm sorry on the bottom and you could see where I bought my drums and I think these are good drums they are from Brazil and they are not broken some, some in some cases the the, the corpus uh, will break and then you could, uh, maybe you could repair it or not. And also if you buy it at their shop, they have the skins. It's very important because sometimes if you play a lot, the skins will be damaged. Okay. So the next thing is the sound of playing these drums. And uh, you could you could uh, have dif you, you must have different sounds, and I always tune it with an uh, electronic tuning system. So I take this. It's a tune pot, uh, and you could order it also by internet. And I think it's the best for tuning. Uh, also tune my other drums like congas or uh, I'm playing drum set so you could use this tune part and I decided to tune my drums uh, like C, G and E so normally I take this and I add this is C, G, E and you could control it if you play it, then maybe sometimes you don't have a, a tune pot or electronic system. You could play together and, and listen if it's a good sound or not. Okay, so I'm always tuning it and because of the goat skin it's a... Uh, uh, if, if it's too wet in the room or if it's too cold so you have to control it always and you tune it up or tune it down and if you don't play it's better to tune it down and for the next event you play or if you practice. So tuning is important and if you don't tune the drums maybe they don't uh, listen very good. Uh, okay.
So, we have different techniques to play the other backies. So, in some cases, as I was telling you before, you play it with the hand and you have almost the same technique as, as you, if you're playing congas. So, if you're a conga player, you could play it uh, as the, the sounds like the conga. So, as I have seen playing people with the hand, they play bass, open, slap, and dip. So, if you play a Yisha Sha rhythm, you play it like this. it loud. In the traditional ceremonies they don't play it loud but they have rooms which are made of, of uh, they, they have walls not wooden walls like here so it's automatically very loud but if don't play it loud and if you practice don't play it very noisy because of the sound and because there is no need and also you're singing normally maybe not if you're uh, Drum player, you don't sing, but maybe you sing. Then it's not necessary to play loud because your voice would be killed. <laughs> so, so another possibility is to play the drums with sticks. And I have these sticks. These sticks are made of bedding or rattan. I will write at the bottom of the video the link where I bought it. I bought it in Vienna and but you could order I think in every country there is a shop, an online shop you could order it. This uh, I think diameter is 8 millimeters, 8 and I have one for the uh, hum. it's about 12 or 10 it's uh, how you like it and as you see I have protection here in the tape here because the rattan uh, will if you play it for a longer time then it will uh, damage you see it here and so I protect it here so the, the, the length of the sticks are around 9, 49 to 50 centimeters. A long time ago I bought the plastic ones for playing the Samba Reggae, I think Rebenike, and they are around 50 centimeters. So I decided and I was trying it, I think it's a good length to play it. So you could, you could have a longer one or a smaller as you like. So, what, what, is, what is important if you play this, first of all, you don't play it like, like a snare drum, for example, like this. It's not, it's not good. And if you play it, you play it flat. Okay, the, the, the sound is like, uh, like almost, not, but not, not the same as, as a rim shot, like this. So if you play it like um, like this, but you don't do it, you have a sound. So yeah, it's a matter of of, of making practice, and uh, because of this, this is natural bedding. I forgot to tell you, natural bedding. It's sometimes the, the size is different, the, the, the diameter is a little bit different, so you have to look which stick you want. And if you play the rhythms, don't play it loud. But you have to go away a little bit from the drum, and then you have to play flat and start playing and just look for the sound. This is 
how you play the le and rumpi with sticks. I give you the sound here. They are really noisy if you if you if you play them with sticks. So you, there is no need to play like this. Just very uh, not 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 friends, but but very easy playing. So you could also practice on a practice pad with these sticks, and just <coughs> to to learn the movements is just to to make practice and. <clears throat> if you're playing in a traditional drum situation, normally you don't play. I have never played in traditional drum situation because it's holy. But if you play it, then uh, you also have to play it not too noisy, <clears throat> and you have to find the right tempo, and and you have to most time the rhythms are playing together. There's only if you play Shasha or Paravento or Kapila or something, rhythms like this, there are different uh, sounds, but normally this and this are playing together. I have only one rhythm I know, the Adarum, they play different sometimes. But normally the voice here and the voice of the uh, Rupi is playing playing the same so so you don't need to 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 play it very loud because uh, you're playing two, two two players are playing these drums okay the next step is is uh playing the hum it's the deepest one and normally in, as i was telling you before Normally you could play it with hand, like for Shango, Alusha de Shango, or you play it with stick, if you like, you're, if you, I'm a right-handed person, so, so I play the stick on the right hand, and on the left hand uh, I don't have a stick, don't have a stick, and here you also have different sounds, and as, as I have seen people playing, they play some different kind of sounds. One is the, the stick in the middle of the uh, drum. And on the other you play most time open. Of, often you play open. You have to play the stick flat, and you could play it like like uh, the, the 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 stick. There is the rim here. I think it's called rim, and you could lay down on the rim. Another possibility, and in some rhythms, or normally, it's often also played a different between. Here it's like more, uh, the sound is more higher, like a slap. And sometimes you could, you could uh, tune up the sound here, like if you, if you take the hand here. So, so sometimes you play rhythms like You're making dips here, or you're making bass. Something like that. So, so if you if you're playing that, it's in every case and in every instrument you have to you have to take care of the sound and. And also a possibility I almost forgot is to play here, like... So, in 
some rhythms you play like this and or like this it's just a way of playing so so what what you also have to take care is of your finger i sometimes i i slap off here on my finger and it's very painful so you have to try and practice 